It's Wednesday morning just after dawn. And as you may or may not be able to tell by the gray speckled wall behind me, I'm in an airport. God, I've wanted to say that forever. Yeah, people in the airport think you're crazy to talk randomly to yourself. And that thing behind me is going to keep changing every few seconds and making a loud noise, so hopefully you can still hear me over it. So I'm taking a week off school to go see colleges, but that's not interesting and none of you wants to hear about that, so let's talk about anxiety. Because when you're flying, that's always a thing you should talk about if you have panic disorder like I do. So if any of you are wondering what it's like to live with a panic disorder, I got on the plane this morning and I was sitting there and I started planning, you know, what I was going to do when we landed in the airport in LA because that's how I think. So I'm sitting there going, okay, so you know, we'll land and I'll get some food and I'll make sure that I have a soda with me and blah, 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 and this is what I'll do over the break. And then all of a sudden something in my brain goes, why are you planning what you're going to do when you land when you haven't even taken off yet? And I'm like, well, it helps to plan stuff because it, it makes me less worried about not, you know, it makes me feel like I have more control of my life even when I don't. It's, it's just that measure of control that reduces the anxiety. So I'm sitting there planning. My brain goes, well, what if you don't land? I'm like, what do you mean, what if I don't land? I'm saying, like, what if I crash? And I was like, well, well, yeah, what if you crash? And then I'm like, well, I'm not going to crash. And my brain went, well, why? Why are you not going to crash? Someone has to crash. Why shouldn't it be you? And I was like, well, because cause it's not going to be me. Because I don't want it to be me. So then I'm sitting there. And apparently, as I've been learning in psychology in the last week, we have patterns of thought. And my pattern of thought, I'm just going to rest my head back here for a while, double chin. My pattern of thought is to assume that the worst will happen. Because then, if the worst does happen, I'm, well, not as horrified. Like, if I apply to a college and don't get in, I'm like, eh, it's okay. But if I apply to a college and I do get in, I'm like, holy crap, I got in! Then I get happy. So I'm sitting here going, crap, I now must assume that this plane is going to crash. And that's the point when the panic should have started to take over. But it didn't. Because I'm getting better. So instead, I just accepted that I was now on this plane, we were already taking off, there was no way I could get off this plane, so I, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything about my fate. I was either going to live or die on this plane, and I could do nothing about that. And that gave me a measure of peace. And it was a good measure of peace. I ended up having a really great morning. There was about five minutes when we were just about to land, starting the descent. And we were out over the ocean, flying into LA, and Half of my view was just taken up with the water, and it was gorgeous. And then there was LA with all the lights, and the mountains behind it, these big, black, impenetrable barriers, and just peeking up from behind them was the orange and red sun. And it was amazing, and I loved it, and it made me quite happy. And so that's been my morning. I've already had a panic attack, and I've already had a really great moment of extended calm. And I think, so far, at 7.30 a.m., it's already a good day. I feel like I should say something like, I'll see you on a Friday, but I probably won't. On Friday, I'm going to be wandering around colleges. But I will, I will see you eventually. Yeah, people in the airport think I'm crazy.